The best beginner cards is this card and it typically has a 60,000 point bonus, but now it has an 80,000 point bonus, but not many people know that there's a 90,000 point bonus available. American Airlines has a card offer that is at its all time highest offer. And if you're into Marriott hotels, there's also an all time high offer on this card as well. In this video, we'll go over all three. My name is Max and I help people like you maximize their airline miles, hotel points, and credit card points. I'm trying to hit 30,000 subscribers in the next couple weeks. If hit the like and subscribe button down below if you wanna help me out. And there's also chapters down below in this video if you wanna skip around to the different card offers. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. First up, the City Advantage Platinum Select World Elite MasterCard 75,000 bonus miles offer. This offer is back and it now features the highest bonus of 75,000 American airline miles after $3,500 in purchases within the first month of account opening compared to the typical offer of 50,000 points. The annual fee is waived for the first year and it will be $99 after that. Besides the welcome bonus, you can earn two times American airline miles on every dollar spent at gas station, restaurants, and American airline purchases. However, it's worth noting that there are other cards that earn more points on your everyday spend, so you might wanna consider using those cards instead of this card. Additionally, this card offers your first bag checked for free on domestic American airline flights for you and up to four companions on the same reservation, as well as preferred boarding. These are the main benefits of the card. In the short term, the 75,000 bonus miles offers great value and you can use them to book one-way business class flights on Japan Airlines, Cathay Pacific to Asia or Qatar Q Suites to the Middle East, India or Africa as an example. However, to make the card worth its $99 annual fee after the first year, you need to fly American Airlines often and value the free checked bag on domestic flights and priority boarding. So ultimately this card is for you if you either need 75,000 American airline miles for redemption and or you frequently fly with American Airlines and find value in the free checked bag and priority boarding perks. If neither of those are appealing to you, then the American Airlines Platinum Select World Elite card is probably not for you. If you are interested in the card though, my affiliate links will be in the description down below and also in the caption. Next up is the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless 5 Certificate bonus. This one's a little weird. If you Google the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless, you'll find the offer for three free nights awards, each award valued up to 50,000 points after you spend $3,000 on purchases in the first three months of account opening. But Doctor of Credit reports that there is a public link to the offer for five free nights awards worth 50,000 after $5,000 spend. It's an official chase page and it's a legit offer. It just might be a targeted offer, but with a link that's accessible to everyone. That's the weird part. Is it safe to apply through that link? I think it is. I would screen record the application process showing you click through to apply via the page that says five free nights awards. In the event that Chase decides not to honor the offer, you have some proof that you applied via a Chase page that shows five free night award offer. As for the card benefits, whether it's worth it or not, the five free night awards can provide some good value in the short term. You can also top off the certificates with up to 15,000 points as well. So if your stay is more than 50,000 points, you can add up to 15,000 in points and stay at hotels up to 65,000 points instead. Long term wise, the card offers six times points on every dollar spent at Marriott hotels. You can earn three times points at gas stations, grocery stores, and dining. But again, to be honest, you're better off putting your spend on other cards instead of the Marriott card. You'll also earn two times points on everything else as well. You'll also earn silver elite status with Marriott, which is the lowest status just right above being a general member. It won't earn you much, but I guess it's better than not having status at all. You'll also get 15 elite night credits, which gives you a boost towards earning higher status as well. To earn Marriott Gold, you need to earn 25 nights, and to earn Platinum, you need to earn 50 nights. And so those 15 elite qualifying nights they give you as a bonus helps you get closer to those goals. Marriott Platinum is where it really pays off to have Marriott status though, so you need to hit that 50 nights. Last but not least, you get one free night award every year after your account anniversary, valid for one night hotel stay at a property with a redemption value up to 35,000 points. And again, same thing with this certificate, you can also supplement it with 15,000 points on top. So
so you can stay at a 50,000 point Marriott hotel with your certificate and your extra 15,000 points as well. Just by using certificate, you can easily get more than $95 value out of the card, which $95 is the annual fee for the card. So from the free night certificate alone, it can be worth it to keep the card long term. Before you apply though, think about how would you use that free night certificate and if you find value in the card benefits long term. Having an idea of where you can use the free nights will give you an idea of how much value you can get from the bonus alone. I don't have an affiliate link or a referral link with the five free night certificate bonus, so the public link will be in the description and in the comments as well. Last but not least is the Chase Sapphire Preferred 90,000 point bonus. This card is gonna be the talk of the town for the next couple weeks of because of its higher bonus. Typically the bonus is 60,000 points and the current highest offer is 80,000 points via referrals or affiliate links online. This requires $4,000 spend in three months from card opening. But if you apply in branch, meaning a physical Chase branch location, you can sign up for a 90,000 point bonus. You'll earn 80,000 points after spending $4,000 in three months of card opening. And if you spend additional $2,000 within this first six months of card opening, you'll get an extra 10,000 points. That's a total of 90,000 points. So if you live near a branch location, I recommend going in and applying in branch rather than applying online. A lot of creators will leave this point out because when you apply in branch, they won't earn a commission on your approval. So just FYI. I always recommend trying to apply for the highest bonus offer possible. The reason why the Chase Affair Preferred is a popular card is that it's regarded as the best beginner credit card to start earning miles and points. Chase Ultimate Reward Points are flexible and can be used in a variety of different ways. The points can be redeemed for one cent per point for cash back. That means that 90,000 points are valued at $900. If you redeem 90,000 Chase Ultra Reward Points in the Chase Travel Portal, your points are worth 1.25 cents per point. It means your points will be worth $1,125 worth of flights or hotels in the Chase Travel Portal. So that means any flight or hotel that's under $1,125 can be covered by redeeming your points in the Chase Travel Portal. But to really maximize the value of your 90,000 Chase Ultra Reward Points, you can transfer them out to 14 airline and hotel program. That essentially means taking your Chase Points and transferring them to any of these transfer partners, including United, Southwest, Hyatt, British Airways, and more. When you transfer your points, you have the potential to earn outsized value for your Chase Ultimate Reward Points. I won't go into too much detail here, but for example, you can use 68,000 Chase Ultra Reward Points, transfer them to Iberia, and book round trip off peak business class flights between Chicago and Madrid. This is on live flat seats, full service meals, and lounge access as well. This would typically cost three to four thousand dollars round trip. So you're getting a lot of value out of your Chase Ultra Reward Points by transferring them out to airline programs. There are a lot of other redemptions that will give you similar value, if not more value for your Chase Ultra Reward Points. Check out some of the videos in this playlist and it will give you an idea of how you can maximize your Chase Ultra Reward Points. My referral links and affiliate links are in the caption and in the description. And if you wanna help me out, hit the subscribe button and let me know what you think about some of these offers.